Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snelp and today I'm going to show you how to install Eclipse and how to put Android on there. Now as far as things goes, if you're going to be coding for Android, I highly recommend going with Android Studio. However, in some workplaces and some other stuff, they may require just using Eclipse for one reason or another. And well, hopefully this video will help you out. But as far as this goes, the links to this will be down below in the description. And remember to hit the subscribe button when you're down there. But first things first is you're going to need to go to the Eclipse page and go to download. And basically you're just trying to download your version. So if you're on a 32-bit system, then you go with that. 64, you can go with that. Now, the next thing is you're going to go to the following, the download page for Android. This page may evolve over time, but somewhere on here, it should have something like the following uh, SDK tools only, and you need to download your following. Once you're, you downloaded your SDK tools, you need to install the proper stuff. And you can install everything, which is fine it's just going to take forever for it to do unless you got a real good internet in a really good system but the other thing is unless you're going to be using it there's no point in putting more stress on your network than that's what's needed but following that just simply open up the eclipse and then go to help install new software and then go down to the following add and you can name this whatever you want so I'm just going to name it ADT repo and then paste in the following and this will be down there in the description too. again and a reminder leave a subscribe and also leave a like but you want to just simply press the OK button and let it do its thing. And then when this comes up, simply select Developer Tools, click Next, and let it do its thing. And go through and just accept the stuff as needed. And finish. Now from this point, once it's done, you may need to simply just restart the program by closing it and opening it up again and I will see you when I do that. Following this we need to make sure everything was taken in place and you shouldn't really see errors that come up. If you do then check your SDKs but I'm assuming that if you're going to use this again I would recommend Android Studio because you have less problematics that can come up but assuming that you're still going down this route you probably know how to solve that stuff but anyways you want to go to window go to preference and this just make sure that um, that's there you can also run the um, emulator from here again in the next video i'm going to get into gym motion it's going to be very quick but i prefer to use gym motion over this over the native emulator but anyways as far as that goes if you feel like i missed out on anything in particular because i went a little bit fast on this one then please feel free to leave a comment below tell me what i miss and maybe i'll add on to here or maybe it'll help someone else if it's something small but also please feel free to leave a like subscribe and share and check out the patreon campaign to keep these type of videos coming out see you next one have a good day.